Good morning, everyone, and welcome back. We are on day five on Snowdrop Tundra, trying to find us a good Snover, as well as a few other things, but Snover is the main goal. With the lead up to the Suicune Research event, we are going to be talking about the missions that are going to go along with the event. So stay tuned for that. But for now, we're going to start off with 11,095 sneaky snacking. And, uh, yep, yeah, this, those sleep points look about right. Um, some of you were there, uh, when we stayed up way too late last night, uh, playing some Elden Ring again on the live stream channel. Uh, but we are going to get 87 and it's going to put us at 4,491 total sleep points. And we're going to grab for our daily lottery, 15 more diamonds. Very nice. I like diamonds. Those are very good. Okay. Let's jump into this slightly lackluster sleep report. We should still have the seven spawns, but hopefully we'll get the slumbering sleep type, which with how well I feel like I slept, I feel like it's pretty much guaranteed. I wouldn't be surprised if we see another chunk of slumbering right there in the middle. Uh, I woke up a little bit later than my alarm today. Didn't even remember my alarm going off. Yeah, quite a bit of slumbering. So uh, I think that pretty much settles that. 22% uh, more slumbering to be uh, exact. But we should still have the seven sleep styles, even though I didn't get a full 100 sleep points. There we go. There's seven spawns. We're good. That puts us at 41 and a half million, well above what we need for the seven. Uh, but my sleep point, the sleep midpoint is definitely out the window this week. Uh, not a good start. Couple of why nots and a Marowak. Um, okay. Maybe there's a Snover in there somewhere. Uh-oh. Well, so we've got two Why Nots, a uh, Riolu, two Geodudes, and a, or not a Riolu, a Lucario, and a Marowak, and a new sleep style, which is going to be not on this side. It's never on the side I go to first. Hey, Celio, nice. Unfortunately, that means no Snover, but that is the three star sleep for Celio. So that puts us at 395 ish and the final Celio sleep style that we needed. So we are all done with the Celio boy. All right, well, no Snover. Honestly, nothing that I said I would try to catch uh, earlier in the week. There's no Sfeel, no Snover. Uh, probably just gonna catch a Geodude just to get it out of the way. Um, the rest, yeah, nothing really all that great. So we'll just catch one of these Geodudes. Um, you know what? This one looks like he's looking at me, so I'll take this one. Don't think it really matters, but we will catch this one. Of course, we get them big hit. Yeah. So we'll take a Geodude home and we'll just wrap it up with that. Um, not, not good that we didn't get a Snover today. Definitely want to see Snovers. Okay, so as far as candy going out, uh, yeah, I do think Sfeel candy is probably the best candy to send out, so we'll do that. And then we can move on. Let's see. We got 2,188 research XP and 3,257 dream shards. But how is this Geodude? We have a level 13 and lonely Geodude. Okay. Well, level 13 and lonely with soybean, soybean, potato. So ABB, not what we were looking for. Or maybe it is. I don't know. I'm drawing a blank. It's way too early. My brain is not yet awake. Probably because I stayed up late, but I am having a hard time remembering what my current Geodudes are. But sleep XP bonus is not a bad first step. At least we get the XP bonus for the entire life cycle of the Geodude, so that's good. Inventory up L is very good. Ingredient Finder S is good. Could be better with Ingredient Finder M. Another inventory up. Not really necessary. Helping speed would be really good there. Uh, but we did get the helping speed at level 100, which, yay, we're going to get that so soon. Lonely is speed of help up and energy recovery down, so actually not terrible. Not bad. This actually could be a pretty good one. Um, I don't know that I would use it though. I, I mean, yeah, with ABB, this is really, 
looking like it would be a potato farmer and I'm not uh, not really in the market for a potato farmer. So unless this is just like super busted, which it could be, I just don't feel like it's worth the investment over the Flora Gato that we have. It's very good. If I didn't already have the, uh, or no, I have a Miascarada, not a Flora Gato. Um, if I didn't already have the Miascarada, um, I would probably use this one. But since we do, I don't really see a reason to do so. I don't know. Is this worthy of a production comparison? Because I kind of feel like if we go look, let's see. Here's the ingredients. If we go look at potatoes, where are they at? There they are. Yeah. But what about a level 60? Because that's where it's really going to shine if it does. I mean, yeah, uh, it's not not surprising. Mascarada with AAA still outperforms ABB, so not really uh, any reason to keep this one, I guess, other than just because it's 96, but I don't think that's a really good reason. It is very good, not as good as I would like, as I said before, but it is very good. Just out of sheer curiosity, let's just run the regular one just real quick. Yeah, it does take it a minute to get up a little bit higher on pure ingredient strength alone. It's not great until level, eh, I mean, level 30 is 75 PR, 87 at 50, 90 something at 60. So it's pretty good, but I think that pretty much settles it that we're going to send this one to the professor and uh, yeah, we're going to go ahead and stick with the miascarada that we have already. No worries, my friend. It's okay, Geo, dude. You didn't do anything wrong. It, it wasn't you. It's me. But all right, we got another 188 sneaky snacking, and we have some news that I was spoiled on because somebody decided to say something in the stream. Uh, you know who you are. Anyway, we have not the update contents, but we have Good Sleep Report, Volume 13. Let's see. The only thing I really care about now, just for the curiosity of it, is uh, how much more or less we slept. Uh, the average duration was shorter man we're shorter again eight minutes 46 seconds shorter than uh typical uh all right well i guess all of us have gotten tired of uh getting a decent amount of sleep i know i have that's why i've been sleeping eight to ten hours a day for some reason but interesting that we got shorter but the big news is that we now know the next good sleep day event will be september 17th to september 19th which means that uh which we could have already figured this out by looking at the calendar, but for sure, the Suicune event will not overlap with Good Sleep Day. So that'll be the first uh, legendary event that did not do so. Kind of unfortunate. I wish they would have pushed the Suicune event back just by one week, just to let it line up, to finish out the trio. It just doesn't feel complete without it, you know? But it is what it is, so. September 17th to September 19th. Mark your calendars. Good sleep day number 14 coming up. All right, let's check our community reports. We should have a decent number. 39 with 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Only 10 that doubled up. Wow, kind of low, but it's all right. And no level ups today. All right, let's move on and let's uh, get into the meat and potatoes. Let's get this breakfast up and running again. We're not really worried about uh, pushing the ranks too much harder anymore. We are just trying to stock up and prepare for the Suicune event. Obama Snow got his act together after I finished recording yesterday's video and decided that he was going to bring in a bunch of eggs. So we actually have a decent amount. Still not quite where I want to be given how... Uh, how low my egg production is currently but it is in a good place at this point i trust obama snow to keep the egg production going throughout the week and we shouldn't have to worry about it um we did get the double trigger on gardevoir no trigger on blastoise but we did get one yesterday unfortunately my blastoise doesn't trigger all that often but we do have a ton of ingredients now let's see what we're looking at 
Um, for flower gift macarons, I can make anything with apples. I don't have to worry about that. So we're going to make fancy apple juice and we're going to go ahead. Let's see. Let's clear out some of this stuff we do not need. I'm going to save the leeks for next week because they are good filler. Um, you know what? Let's save the herbs as well. Let's get rid of the sausage. It's not the best filler. Uh, we need the milk. We need the honey. We don't necessarily need the oil. The ginger is kind of low. Tomatoes are kind of low. Soybeans are kind of low. We'll save the rest for now. Don't add more. We'll just finish this one out. And we will probably get an extra tasty when we're not trying. No. Okay, good. A lot of times it seems like when I don't try and I don't care about strength, all of a sudden the extra tasties come out to play. That is enough for a level up on the uh, stalwart vegetable juice. So getting a little bit of progress on that towards the max level. But again, we're only making this just to cook for the mission. So no worries. We're not trying to raise rank. Not that big a deal. Just trying to clear out some space to make room for ingredients we actually want. And for the mission. It was enough to put us to Ultra 5, though. So we're in a good spot there. Another couple of berries from you. We should be in a pretty decent place once he finishes eating all of those berries, but let's go ahead and check in where we are at for next week. Currently, Coco doing very well. That's almost six dishes worth of Coco. Eggs, not as good as I thought they were gonna be. I thought we'd have at least 75, but we're still in a good place. 58 out of 25 is not bad. We could still, if we wanted to, you know what? I probably will swap out probably Blastoise for uh, one of the Della birds. Just to bring in some eggs. It's not going to be as much as the Obama snow because they only get two. Because none of my Della bird are AA. So we'll bring in the one that can at least bring in something to help bolster that a little bit. And then for honey, we have 17 is uh, 24, 48. Um, and then another 24 would be 72. Yes. Yes. Okay. So we've got enough for six dishes there on honey. So we're doing all right there. Mm, could probably just to bring up the eggs and the milk. To be in line with the cocoa and honey swap out at the blastoise for our triple a squirtle or war turtle i think he's a war turtle now and swap out the venusaur for one of the deli birds to bring in just a few more eggs just to try to help get those in line overall we are in a very good place though i'm not really that worried about it um last time i did this i really i calculated out how many ingredients we would need and i went through an entire team analysis i'm trying to do it all on my own this time without running it through calculations which could lead to failure but i'm trying to see if i can trust myself and i don't know if i can yet we are at 484 total ingredients out of 700 which is fine we are going to need some filler um which is kind of why i'm holding on to the corn but that's not going to go very far we may end up with just extra cocoa as filler i'm not sure not sure how we're going to handle the filler because we will have, uh, I think like 90, no, a hundred and something ingredients every time we cook. So we will need to make sure that we keep up on that. All right. Well, we are in a good place. We're ready to go. The plan is working. We just need to swap out these two real quick just to uh, try to even things out. Let's grab our Blastoise and we will put in a Della bird. Question is which one? You have apples, so I don't want you bringing in apples. Let's grab this guy. Good. Nothing but eggs. Ingredient finder M and skill trigger S. So, uh, yeah, speed of help is down, which is unfortunate, but it's eggs. It's eggs, and that's what we need. And then we're going to swap you out for Mr. Triple A right there. I'm still kind of considering investing in this guy. At least getting to level 30 with candies. 
I'm really thinking that's a good call. I'm thinking that's a good call. Level up. Probably should have used Candy Boost to invest in this guy. That would have been a good call too. How much can I get and still have the 80 to evolve? I can get to 25 and evolve into a Blastoise. That wouldn't be bad. But if I am going to invest this much, I might as well get him to 30. How far can we go? Can't quite get to 30 yet. Not yet. But... I don't know. Something is telling me to hold off on investing in this one just yet. And I don't know why. What level do you need to be to evolve? 27? Why am I feeling like I shouldn't do this? I don't know. It may just be the sheer... It may just be fear of the amount of dream shards that I have. I feel like for some reason that's holding me back and I don't know why. But let's go ahead and do it. Let's at least evolve this into a Blastoise. Even if we don't get him to level 30, he should be a Blastoise. It will help significantly with the speed. So I, I don't know why I'm hesitant about this. Again, my brain isn't really super active right now. So, uh... Maybe it's just foggy brain that's telling me no, but for some reason I'm hesitant and it's weird. But let's go ahead and evolve it. I think this is the right call. Unless I'm just overthinking it or underthinking it is probably more what it is. I'm probably probably underthinking this and this is a bad call, but I think it's the right call. If not, it's too late now. So <laughs> let's just go ahead and move on. We have us another Blastoise, our third one. And really, we only have two good ones. Because uh, as much as I uh, appreciate that I've had this guy for a long time, this is a good Blastoise. I like this Blastoise. Anyway, as much as I appreciate the fact that I've had this one, uh, where's he at? ABC right here. I've had him for a long time, and he helped me out a lot in the beginning. He's actually not that great. So um, the only good thing about him is the berry finding at 75. Other than that, uh, not super great. ABC, not what you want to see, but uh, for some reason I can't let him go. I'm sentimental with that one, and I don't know why. But uh, yeah, I think this Blastoise is the way to go. Evolving him did uh, get us down to 44 minutes and 14 second frequency, so we're in a pretty good place. If I could get him to level 50, which is a long ways away, another helping bonus stack would also be good. Um, so we're in a good spot. We do really need to find us a good Vaporeon candidate, but that'll be another time. For now, we've got the team in a good place where they need to be. We should see some good returns on the ingredients that we're looking for, and hopefully things will turn around for us. But before I let you guys go, we are going to go over the missions for the uh, Suicune event. If you haven't seen them already, some of you may have, some of you maybe not. But if you're curious, we're going to go over them now. So, for the Suicune event, or week one missions, we are going to need to get to basic two, ultra one, and ultra four. For basic two, we'll get 15 Suicune mains. For ultra one, we'll get 25 mains. And for ultra four, we'll get 40 mains. Then for giving out 15 biscuits, we will get 50 mains as well. Uh, if we use seven incense, we will also get another 50 mains. And if we go to bed on time three times, another 50 mains. So all very easy to hit. No reason that anybody shouldn't be able to do these except for maybe the 15 biscuits. If you just don't have any, uh, 15 biscuits is quite a bit. We really only need to give out eight extra because we do get the seven free biscuits, one for each day with a bonus biscuit. So... It is possible that some people may not be in a position to hit that, but most of the others will be almost impossible to not do unless you're actively trying not to or you forget like I did that one time and forget to use incenses, even though it's very clearly there. I still don't know how I did that, but don't forget to use your incenses uh, for week two. If we get to ultra five, we get 20 mains. If we get to master two, we get 30 mains. And if we get to master five, we get 40 mains. Keep in mind week two, we will start off with a stronger Snorlax. I believe the exact rank of the Snorlax will vary depending on which island you go to because it's the strength that is set, not the rank. So 
We will start off with a stronger than normal Snorlax, so we will have a jump start there. So getting to Master 5 is not going to be as daunting as it sounds. Also, if you use 100 candies, we will get another 50 mains and go to bed three times on time again for another 50 mains and then cook 12 times for 50 mains. So uh, all of these should be very doable. I don't see any reason why anybody should miss week two. Week two will be very easy outside of maybe a brand new player that has only been playing for a week or two. You may not be able to hit some of these higher ranks here, but most people should be able to hit them. So. All in all, pretty easy missions. We'll have plenty of mains uh, between both of them. That's going to be 150, 190 plus another two. Okay, so 230 for week one. And then for week two, 50, 50, 150. So we're looking at another 190, uh, 220 and 240. So 230 for week one, 240 for week two. So we're going to be in a very good spot. We're going to get just shy of 500 mains in total from these missions, which means we should be able to buy a couple of incense couple of biscuits but also keep in mind that we typically see a uh, main skill seed in the event exchange shop so those I think are like 300 or 350 if I remember correctly so they are a bit expensive but you will have enough to at least buy that if you're not buying any Suicune incense or biscuits uh, there's a few other things in the shop that are worth buying I don't think the shop is available just yet Suicune research let's see uh item exchange ah it is available so we're gonna go through that now i did not realize this was here i thought it was on a separate tab okay so we will be able to buy two suicune incense at 80 mains each uh and then from there we'll be able to buy seven for 160 mains each so make sure you buy the cheap ones first for the biscuits we'll be able to buy two at 60 mains and 10 at 120 mains then we've got small handy candies we'll be able to buy 10 of them for 12 mains each uh small water type candies so this is something we didn't have in the Raikou and Entei events we did not have the type candies so we've got a new item the small water type candies we'll be able to buy 10 for 12 mains each uh which is pretty pretty decent deal since it's at the same price as the small handy candies I like that I feel like they should be uh, and then we've got small dream clusters. You'll be able to buy 15 for 12 mains each. There it is, the main skill seed, 350 Suicune mains. Uh, we've got a water stone, of course, uh, that will be 120 mains, and we can only buy one of them. So if you need a water stone and you got some extra mains left over, this is a good way to do it rather than spend the 1400 sleep points. It's not a high priority for me, but if you got the extra sleep points and you need it, why not? Then we've got uh, Suicune Candy, we'll be able to buy 100 at two mains each. Uh, and then again, we'll be able to buy 999 at six mains each. Uh, and then for the second week of the event, we'll have another round of Suicune Incense. We can buy two at 70 mains each, and then another couple of Suicune Biscuits that we can buy at 50 mains each. Uh, keep in mind some of these don't show up it looks like the last incense on this page the last incense and biscuits show up the final week everything else looks like it is available week one uh, which is about typical so quite a lot to buy again my priority is trying to catch a good Suicune and then the main skill seed I will definitely buy before the end of the event. I've bought it every time. It is highly valuable. I think this is the highest priority for everybody, whether you're free to play or not. The main skill seed is going to be a very valuable item. Um, of course, we're gonna buy incense and biscuits to try to catch the Suicune. And then also don't forget that the biscuits after the event is over will convert into great biscuits. So if you uh, are at the end of the event, you've caught the Suicune you want, it still is worth buying the Suicune Biscuits because those will convert into free Great Biscuits. I think now that Ultra Biscuits are out in the game, they should convert to Ultra Biscuits because then it's more similar, you know, five, six, but maybe I'm just being picky, but I do think that's what it should do. Uh, but these will convert into Great Biscuits at the end of the event, so it is still worth buying them even if you have already caught your Suicune, uh, rather than just buying, you know, what is it, a thousand Suicune candies. I think it's better to buy the biscuits because you can use those on other Pokemon later on. Um, outside of that, Waterstone is not a bad purchase for pretty much anybody, even if you don't need it right now. Might as well get it while it's cheap. 
and small handy candies of course are always very valuable dream clusters as well especially with the increased amount of dream shards that we are having to use throughout our day-to-day -day playing of the game so the ones I would leave behind, I typically don't buy Suicune candy until I've bought everything else and I just have literally nothing else to spend my mains on and I just buy it out to run out my supply of mains. Um, but hi again, highest priority, main skill seed, incense, biscuits to catch it. Then once I've caught it, probably won't buy any more incense outside of just one to keep in my inventory. Um, I still have, I believe, both the Raiko and Intei incense that I bought. Yep, Raiko. And oh, did I use the Intei incense? Maybe I did. I don't remember when I did, but I guess I did use it. Probably going for that three star. Anyway, I have the Raiko one. It's not a bad idea to hold on to it because you can use it to force a spawn. Just because the event is over does not mean that you can't find Suicune. So you can hold on to that incense until you get the drowsy power required to get the three star or not the drowsy power. Sorry, the rank required for the three star Suicune. Uh, so if you go to Cyan, I think is where it's going to spawn. Let me double check that before I tell you wrong. I don't want to do that. Let's double check. I'm pretty sure Cyan is where it spawns. Um, but I'm also pulling off a foggy brain and memory. Yes, yeah, Cyan Beach or Lapis Lakeside. So once you get to the rank required for it, again, this is all unsettled, so hold off on it. Don't necessarily commit this one to memory yet. Double check before you use your incense. But once you get to the rank required for the three star sleep, you can use the incense to try to force that three star sleep to show up and it does not discount from your drowsy power. So you can do that. It is a good idea to hold on to the incense for specifically that reason. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much where I'm at. Prioritize the main skill seed. Make sure we catch a good Suicune, buy all the goodies with what mains I have left, and that's going to be pretty much it. And speaking of pretty much it, that's going to be it for today's video. So thank you for watching the video. Make sure to hit that subscribe button if you do enjoy these videos and breakdowns of all the stuff going on in the game. A huge shout out to our ace trainers that support this channel, Flightmaster, Illusion, JP, Whitey, and Husky Star. Thank you very much. If you'd like to become an ace trainer today, click that join button right next to the subscribe button, get exclusive perks and early access to the daily videos. And while you're down there, go ahead and click the link to that discord in the description box. Come join us and talk about Pokemon Sleep and other video games. Other than that, y'all have a good night happy hunting and until next time later dudes